All right, hey, I'm going to do a video on Rage Broadheads. Uh, I happen to be a fan of them. I've used them for a long time. I don't really see no reason to change. Um, but I'm not really debating on Rage versus any other broadhead. I'm, I'm really uh, wanting to talk about fake broadheads. Uh, every broadhead that is made, you can find some kind of fake Chinese knockoff online. And typically all the fake ones that I've ever seen have come individually packaged. They'll be loose, they'll be in a bag, or they'll come in a little box. Um, generally, it's very easy to tell which is fake and which is not, you know, because they'll usually have a picture. It'll just be the single broadhead by itself. There won't be a picture of the package or anything like that. And, and so you'll get these and they'll be fake. They won't be real. Um, but they'll look just like the normal ones. And I've seen people post videos of, of supposedly they, they're supposed to uh, perform the exact same and whatnot. But uh, if I'm buying a product that I am have confidence in uh, and it's a certain brand, I expect to get that brand. Uh, Rage Broadheads are, I believe, are made in the, in the, in the United States, and they're, that's what it says on the package anyway. Um, and, uh, and so that's what I want. I don't want one from China. Uh, you know, China gets enough money as it goes, as it stands anyway, but I don't, I'm not giving it to China. I don't, I, I want something that I, uh, I want to receive what I pay for. But anyway, these are, these broadheads, like I said, typically are, uh, uh, packaged separately. Well, I got some from eBay that were in a complete package. Now, you can't tell any difference between the two packages here. This 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 one is the real deal, the genuine. This one is fake. And front and back, if you picked them up, looked at them, there's no way you'd ever be able to tell the difference. I mean, unless just somebody told you what the world to look at. All right. Um, but basically, everything is the same from an outward appearance standpoint. Uh, with some, with the exception of a few minor things, and that's what I wanted to talk about. The fake ones, if you know, first of all, if you're buying them on eBay, they uh, look for something that says genuine. Uh, this, I'm a genuine dealer. Or I'm, you know, affiliated with Rage, or uh, this is from Rage, or whatnot, or or look for something that's going to be sent to you from America, United States. Uh, if it's coming from China, more likely it's fake, but. Uh, one of the things you can really pick up on whenever you're looking at the pictures of these things is the uh, a lot of times the ferrule. I got two packages of these that are fake, and on both these packages the ferrule is not the same. There's two of them that's the same. There's one of them that's different, and that immediately you know I was like, well that's that doesn't seem right because why would they have a completely different ferrule in the same package? That doesn't make sense. Also, I got to noticing uh, when I opened these up, uh, they wasn't as shiny. They were really dull. Um, the quality just didn't seem as good. Uh, the uh, uh, like, for example, on these collars, this collar has got uh, if you can see it or not. Maybe you can see it right there. It's got a little burr on it, and it, and 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 this is actually a, a good one. But they had all these burrs on them, like they, like they had just come out of a mold, and they just didn't clean them up good, and and they was just, they seemed to be thinner uh, than what I was used to, um, and so anyway, the finish is is dull. Uh, these di these little plastic collars didn't look to be as good, and uh, and the main difference that, that you can tell uh, a fake from the genuine is the screws. That holds the blades in. Um, you know, you can change the blades out on these on any of the rage, and you just you just uh, you know take this screw out right here, and and then you put your replacement blades in. Well, I looked at these screw heads, and it just didn't appear like I could get an Allen on them. Uh, it just seemed like that uh, uh, I tried all the Allens that I had, I couldn't get any to work. Uh, it didn't come with one in the package, and so then. I went and I got another package that I had got, another pack of broadheads that I got that I knew was real and genuine. I looked at the, the, the screws on these and there's a very defined, a very defined 
and it's got kind of a dull look to it. Uh, screw, Allen screw, is very different than this. This is almost just like a round hole. Uh, and, you know, I just, I, I just, you could just see that one could, you could take a, put an Allen in, the other one you could not. Um, and that's really the main the main way that I could tell uh, that one of them was fake um, was those Allen heads, and then the fact that the ferrule was different and that kind of throwed it uh, throwed it in a, a a red flag for me. So anyway, uh, just so you may uh, run into this problem and maybe you can avoid it, um, you know, beware a fake. Uh, broadheads uh, they exist and uh, so anyway hopefully this video uh, may help somebody